Hey everybody, we have got a new language model in the market right now called as DeepSeek, which is making a lot of noise. If you see on the benchmarks, it has outperformed most of the uh, current models. It has outperformed even the proprietary models like Crowd 3.5 Sonnet as well as GPT-4. In most of these cases, you can see here, the DeepSeek V3 performs uh, better in comparison to Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and GPT-4. And we are going to see if DeepSeek really stands among its competitors. And we'll be doing a coding test for DeepSeek. Currently, one of the best code editors in the market right now is Cursor. And Cursor uses Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. For this purpose, I'll be building a SwiftUI application. I'll give the same prompt to both of these models and see which one of those gives us a better result. So let us dive straight into the video now. Uh, I have created two Xcode projects. Okay, so this is a Cursor here. I'll go full screen. And this is the first Cursor project. I have named it Cursor Sticky Nodes. And here we have another Xcode project, DeepSeek Sticky Nodes. And we'll be feeding this to DeepSeek API and we'll be feeding the Cursor Sticky Nodes to Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. So I'll open the Cursor Editor right now. Here we have Cursor. I'll open the folder, go to Downloads, DeepSeek Comparison, and this will be Cursor Sticky Nodes. I'll select the folder, click on Open and go to the Composer here. We'll be using the Composer feature of Cursor. So I'll just click on Agent Mode over here and I'll just tell it what I want to do. For that, I'll be using the application that I have built myself called as Voicing. So I'll just uh, tell it what I want to do. Hey, I want you to build a macOS application using Swift and Swift UI called as Sticky Notes. This application should let the user uh, use the hotkey in order to quickly uh, open a window from where the user can uh, add a new node and the node should be saved and the user should also be able to view all of the nodes that are previously saved. We'll be using Swift data for that. Also, the node window should not look like the normal window. The window should look like node itself. Also, make sure that the window that appears when the shortcut is pressed, it's always on the top of the other applications. Let's see if we get all of the transcription right. And here we have, let's copy this prompt so that I can also use it with DeepSeek. And here is it is searching for directory. In the meantime, I think we can use our DeepSeek version. We'll go to uh, Visual Code Studio. We have the plugin co installed called as Clean, uh, which allows you to use DeepSeek. Uh, if you don't know how to configure it, you just need to go to settings. On the base URL, you need to HTTPS uh, API.deepseek.com. Here you'll need to add the API key and in the model ID, you need to write DeepSeek chat. Not DeepSeek v3, but DeepSeek chat. Okay. After that, click on done and I'll just... Okay, first I'll need to open a folder in VS Code. And here we have DeepSeek sticky notes. Open this project folder. Go to clean. Let's go to cursor. And it has created a Swift UI application where we'll be using the global hardware as command shift and to create new nodes. Let's accept it and it has built global hotkey, uh, floating windows, and custom styled nodes with allo background and rounded corners. Swift data integration, list view for all of the saved nodes. Ability to delete nodes, modern Swift UI interface. Okay, now let's go to Xcode and try to run this project built by Cursor Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. And this is the DeepSeek project. This is the Cursor Sticky Notes project. And I hope we do not have any errors but we do have either okay i don't know what this error is let's try to find it out let's go to cursor again okay uh, we need to add the package dependency here so i'll just go to xcode again i'll just delete this package file and i'll need to manually add this package that is what i have to do with this go to file Add package dependency and it should be hotkey package.
instead of using hot key, I, I think it would be better if we use the a keyboard shortcuts package by Sindres Soros, but it's okay. Uh, we can change it later on. And let's see if we are able to run this application properly. Okay, our build is successful. Here, the application is being built right now. And here we have the quick sticky notes. I'll just use the shortcut command shift n. And here we have the uh, sticky note. This is a quick sticky notes. Okay, I know it does not have good design and styling. I think we can change it later on, but it looks pretty good. It is functional. Uh, we can change the uh, design elements and everything later on, but uh, it is working, right? We have the ability to uh, quickly add notes using shortcut and we have this uh, window a rounded window and uh, this needs to be changed but we can do it later on now let's go back and see what DeepSeek API has been able to do let's go to Visual Code Studio okay oh, wait I think uh, I just need to accept all of the changes first oh nice so every time it makes changes I'll need to accept the changes so I just need to click on save here if I add if I enable the auto app group, it will all be done. Uh, it will do all of the work itself. This is due to the clean uh, plugin that we are using. So there is nothing wrong with the API. It's just how the plugin works. The plugin clean works. Okay. What is it doing? It is node model using. Okay. I think it is referring to the node. I think uh, during my transcription, it has written NOD instead of node. So. Oh, now it is using the keyboard shortcuts package by Sindresaurus, which is the latest one. I really like this one because the keyboards, uh, the hotkey package that we used previously was a little outdated. It's not outdated, but it is not that configurable. But this keyboard shortcuts package by Sindresaurus is more configurable. So it's really good that it has used uh, this one. Okay, first add the package dependency. It will be keyboard shortcuts by Okay, Sindre Soros. Click on add package. And here we have. Let's see if we run into any errors while building this. Oh, so even after we specified it that we are building this for Mac OS, it is still used iOS specific course. So I'll just copy these errors from here and go back to Visual Studio Code and tell it to fix these errors let's go back to Xcode now and see the changes if it fixed the errors and here we again have another error I'll just copy this and go to Visual Code Studio and run this. Now let's run this Swift application for Mac OS and it is running. So this is the sticky notes application built by using Deep DeepSeek API. I think we should have a configurable shortcuts, but I can't see it anywhere. Let's go to Visual Code Studio and see if there is okay. It also has the same command shift n to open the new node. I just ask it to create a settings view so that the user can add a configurable shortcut. Hey, uh, I want you to add a settings view where the user can specify what shortcut he wants to use to create a new node. I think that would be better. What do you think? Now it will create a settings view. Uh, modify the keyboard shortcut handling and store the shortcut preference. 
using app stories. Okay, I think uh, enabling the auto app group is really useful. Now it works better. I'll just close this window. Now let's try to run this application again. And we again have failed two builds. Although it used the keyboard shortcuts package, it uh, do not remember how uh, everything is working on keyboard shortcuts. So I'll just provide it the documentation for keyboard shortcuts so that it gets it better. Hey, uh, this is the uh, documentation for keyboard shortcuts package. I want you to properly follow the uh, documentation. Also, I have got some errors currently. I want you to fix them as well. I'll paste the errors that I got in Xcode. And here we are. Okay, let's see if we get it working right now. You can see here it is still getting errors with this Swift AI application. I just got it working uh, in just one prompt with Cursor AI, but with uh, DeepSeek, uh, I have been working with like five to six prompts already. Now, finally, we got it running. This is sticky nodes. Let's go to the settings. And here we have another error. The app is not over able to open. I'll just copy this error code and add it to Visual Studio Code again and tell it to fix the error. Still, when I try to open the settings view, it terminates the app with this error. So there is something uh, wrong with the code. So I'll just go again to the Visual Studio code. Now I'm just tired using the DeepSeek API. I think I'll switch to Cursor again. Hey, when I'm trying to open the settings view using a command comma, it is terminating the app with this error. Why is this happening? Fix it properly. Yes. I can guarantee that with Cursor, it would not take this many steps for this simple application. Now, let's go to settings. Now we have the settings here. Uh, I'll just use the shortcut caps lock en. Okay, uh, I've set caps lock as the hyper key. So let's see. Okay. When I press the hot key, it does not open the, it does not even open the uh, sticky window. Let's see if it is in the background. No, it is not. Hey, uh, when I press the keyboard shortcut, nothing happens. Is the code properly written for that task? When the user presses the keyboard shortcut to open the new window, it will open the quick sticky window where the user can type and save his node. Now, this is the final try that I'm doing with DeepSeek API. If it fails to run or if it fails to do properly, I'll just uh, complete this challenge. And we have a lot of errors here again. Okay, I said this will be the final one, but uh, let's try it one last time. Okay, uh, let's go to here and ask it. Why are these errors happening? Try to fix it properly without breaking anything else in the code. Okay. 
now it has created a new window group over here and i think it has not added the uh, window style as like a floating that should be the major function of this application but let's see press the shortcut and here i'm pressing the shortcut but nothing's ha nothing is happening i'm pressing the shortcut the hyper key and n and nothing happens let's see no i'll change it to caps lock l and no still nothing is happening so i'm just declaring the end of the challenge here uh, cursor really wins the only differentiator right now with uh, deep seek is the pricing and because we are using this with Swift UI as well, it might be getting a lot of errors because Swift UI is a relatively newer language and most of the language models do not have a very good understanding of it. But I have built two, three applications using Swift UI. It has got everything right during my build. If you go to the pricing section, Arifseq is almost uh, 10 times cheaper than the cloud uh, Sonnet 3.5. Maybe using it with other programming languages may be better. But based on the current test, we can conclude that the DeepSeq API is not that good as compared to the uh, Cloud 3.5. Uh, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet is still ahead uh, in coding test, coding comparison. This is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, wait, one second. Let us talk about the pricing. How much uh, did it cost to run the DeepSeq right now? DeepSeq. Okay, I cannot log in into this. I'll go to Korean browser. And I'll go to DeepSeek here. And the current cost that incur uh, for all of the things that we did is almost negligible. It is 0 0.01 USD dollars. So the pricing is really a good differentiator here. I will try to create another test to uh, compare these both tools uh, for web development to create something uh, on a website, a landing page, or a SaaS application, something like that in the future video. If you enjoyed this video, I hope uh, you loved it uh, and you found something valuable. Uh, do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel because I'm going to create some really cool AI related videos in the future and we're going to explore a lot more on AI and AI coding. Thank you for watching. Have a great time. See you again. Bye.